Welcome to Rootstem Gaming, and this is Unboxing Rogue Trader Kill Team Expansion. Right guys, uh, yeah, excuse the hand. Uh, I have the quite eccentric Oliver here today. He's actually the one that actually owns this Rogue Trader box set, because I have not bought it yet i will be buying it but he's going to be having me paint his figures so you'll probably yep. see a video of that before i actually <laughs> do my own unboxing so he's kindly said that we're going to do a bit of an unboxing today so we're going to get this out and we're going to have a look at the contents even though it's a bit late of rogue trader so that's the contents of the box yep. a bit of to be honest <laughs> and it's not a it's a lifty lid hmm no sorry but uh it's not one that you just uh lift off yep. and the reason i haven't got it yet is because i basically need to uh I need to get cracking with what I've already got. <laughs> uh, so, let's have a look at this, so, Ollie. These, this is beginning with your scenery, because obviously this time the board you're getting here is because you're fighting on a ship. Mm -hmm. So you've got lots of uh, slidey doors, and you've got lots of sort of like ship interior sort of aperitifs. There's lots of like command consoles. I quite like that, yeah, but slidey doors there. do remind me a little bit of um, the ones that you get in Necromunda. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm liking these. Are these like some form of a skate pod? They're the uh, consoles, I believe. <coughs> I think. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's the consoles, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're the consoles. Yeah, they're I'm just the talking consoles. these. These look like escape pods. Uh, I'm not sure what they might be, actually. Uh, they might be. They might be right. They might be quite cool, that. Um, yeah, not a bad looking piece of drain. Not as much as what you get in the other Kill Team set. How much was this one, Ollie? Uh, this was £60. 60 yes. Is that from Workshop? No, 60? it's not from Workshop. How much is it from Workshop, Polly? Uh, 80. 80, yes. right. So that's quite an expensive set to say you don't get a lot in it. Um, let's have a look at this. So, so this is the Galapox Infective Sprue. Ooh. They're going to be nice to paint. They are going to be nice to paint. Some of them are pretty crazy with all the yeah. flies. They are. I think they... I might have to charge of, them off of these, Ollie. <laughs> 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 so yeah, especially for these very obviously like Nurgle. Yeah. Uh, stuff. Uh, there's lots of like tiny little ones as well, little nurglings or glitchlings as they're called. Are they actually separate as well? Uh, yes. Wow. Uh, so you've got like three, I think you've got three big ones. Yeah. And then there's the commander which is, couldn't tell you which one he is from here, but yeah, there's there's commander and then there's three sort of Words smaller well. ones oh, that maggots. look like, yeah. Then there's three sort of these guys here that are like this smaller, they're almost like um, Wow. Nurgle Demons. That does look alright, actually, that. And um, what's the... This ah, are, right, these now. are the titular rogue traders. This. This is the sprue I'm after. Uh, adding it to my Imperial Army. Always nice oh, yeah. to add stuff like this. We're also, eventually on the channel, going to have a, an old-school Inquisitor campaign with 40k figures. Um, so if I do get myself a set of these, these will become incredibly handy. Well, if the, the rumour pans out, you mm. might be getting a Kill Team Inquisition. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that would make sense. Yeah. So, oh, got cards, cards. Uh, stratagem cards. So it is literally is an expansion set, isn't it? Because yeah. you're not getting any of the uh, the good gubbins that you normally yeah. get. But bases, yeah, generic. Oh, that's a nice. Uh, that's nice looking. Nice bit of art. Nice bit of art. So for those people, because I know there's out there's people out there that like to actually frame them, because I do frame them myself. But it's essentially the box up. Which is again quite a nice piece. Ooh. And then books, we'll crack those open a bit and flip through them. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. I do like the counters. I like the yeah. fact that each set's coming with its own counters. I do think that's quite tasty. Oh, and then there's the board. And then, yep. Yeah. Right, let's tear up. Before we crack open any codexes, let's get that bad boy open then, Ollie. Okay, so we got it out now. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Is that a large piece or is that? Oh, oh. Ollie, the man of oh, not many talents. <laughs> that's a nice game board, actually. That's I can't tell if that's bigger than the one that you get weaving. I think it's probably about the same size, but that's a nice game board. So, Th isn't this the supposedly skate pod? Yes, this is the uh, shuttle that one of the missions takes place in. If uh, anyone, if anyone recognises this, we've got a, an escape area at the back here, look, and two rockets, very much reminiscent 
of uh, Lieutenant Ripley. <laughs> she tried to get get away from uh, the initial invasion of the Tyranids. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see here, yep. these are corridors and close terrain because yep. there are rules now for fighting in close combat. Oh, right, in, okay. In enclosed environments. Um, the like best example, Mortalis type thing then? Yeah, so the best Ooh. example I can think of is concussion grenades. Okay. So if you throw them in a confined environment, they get plus one to the strength. Wow. That might be something we should actually bring over if we're playing it in Mortalis then, probably. So another one of the things you can see here, doorways. So yeah, as you saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, as you saw, there were doors in the sprue set. So yeah. there is a stratagem that one of the guys has where he can close doors before your shooting turn. Oh. So if you are exposed to uh, enemy fire in this corridor, and there's a sliding door here, you use a stratagem, that door is now closed. That's pretty you awesome. You cannot be shot at. Oh, nice. So that's the one side of the board. The other side... Oh. Yeah, it'll be all right. Is this more of like ship interior or...? No, this is a Ministorum temple. Ooh. Ooh. So yes, because after you've escaped, you then go down to uh, Ministorum Temple from I remember from the from the law, and you try to stop a ritual from happening. I want assassins in Kill Team Games Workshop. Pay attention, because <laughs> I think that would look amazing. So yeah, like I say, it's a really really nice board. Um, like I say, you're right; it is a bit expensive. I think for an expansion. Yeah. Um, but what you get. It's it's nice it's, looking. Yeah, it's Games Workshop. It's really good quality. I mean, yeah. I've, you've seen, you've already had a look at like some of the sprues here, but they're really good, really good quality. Can't what? argue with that. Where did you get it for sixty from, bro? Uh, Outpost. Right. Okay, that's in Sheffield, isn't it? Yep. Right, I might give a shout out to those guys. Uh, right. Do you want to open those? Yes. Oops. Snickers. No. Right. Is... Okay. Yep. Right. So that's the instruction booklet, I guess. That's your instruction booklet. All your new rules, um, rules for using the Rogue Traders and the Gelpox in Kill Team, mm -hmm. all in there, essentially. Then you've got assembly, assembly instructions, because these do look like they are push fit, so it does look like they're going to be quite easy to assemble. Yeah. Like I say, most of the, uh, yeah. the, the they're all one or two quick fits, very easily done. Yeah, yeah, together. yeah, yeah. Nice bit of artwork on the back of there. Not a half. Uh, and then, mini rule, rule book. book. Yeah, yeah, I like them. I do this like is them. The, it's easy this is the big me. changer in this. This is, I think, why it's a bit more expensive than it might normally would be. Because these are your codex for using these two forces in 40k. I like that. So that's the big change, if anything. And, hang on. Nice bit of that. So, as you can see here. This is your Nietzsche squad, which is would be normally be uh, what four or five men, I think yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So you've got your voidsman, your voidman, yeah, your void master Nietzsche, which is the guy with the shotgun, yeah, uh, in, and then you've got Axe which is the dog, which oh, I do, right, which okay. I do like. He has his own stat line, yeah, right, for attacking, cool. yeah. Uh, the only thing I'd say if you're going to play these in 40k, um. Needs more Voidman. It's almost worth, if they ever do release these separately, getting another Rogue Trader set just for more Voidman. I to think, play. actually, probably, if I'm guessing, or is it just Voidsman at Arms? Is yeah. there no, no way to use the characters then? Yep, here oh, they are. So yeah. these are the characters. Yeah. So that's your Electromancer. Yep. Um, then you have, that's your Medic. Yep. That's your death cult assassin. Ooh. So you do have assassins. Uh, if you want to play yeah, assassin. yeah, yeah, yeah. The death cult one though. Yep. And then, oh, hang on. Hang on. Just probably at the front. Mr. Bai. Oh, I don't know. There you are. Oh, right, so this there is you go. this is the main character, and she can be, if I am correct, uh, I think she can be. Um, 
your warlord, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Well, technically, I suppose, yeah. because by the looks of it, you've got a couple of elites, you've got a troop's choice, and then you've got her. So technically, you can have a patrol of these yeah. with your Imperial Army. Ah, now this is the other thing that's come interesting, isn't it? Okay. You can make your own detachment solely of just these two armies. Ah, right, okay. But you can only, the command points that they generate can only be spent on that detachment. Ah, right, okay. So you can't okay. spend them on anything else. Um, other thing is, she's quite tasty. Her weapons are insane. So, heirloom pistol, strength 4, minus 2, 2 damage. Yeah, yeah. Weapon skill 3. Um, her cane rapier, strength user, minus 4. Oh, that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. And concussion grenades. Yeah, and concussion grenades. Uh, other thing is, warrant of trade. They can use any Imperium vehicle, uh, which is quite good. So, you can put them in that's anything what I'm saying. you so want. You can pretty much put them into any sort yep. of Imperial vehicle that you wanted. Yep. Uh, and then let's look at the strategy. So I think they've only got three. No, it's quite a lot there, oh, mate. Oh, no, more stratagems. Um, I think some of these are what? Oh no. So the big one is personal teleportation chamber. So you can put these in and just teleport them out for one command point. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, and that's it, really. I think for the big for the big one really, and then you've got the points good values for campaigns, down here. I think this especially. Yeah. You've got the points values down here. So your your main road trade is only like forty five points. Yeah. The niche squad is only six. Well, yeah, because the last cannon <laughs> should be able to take her out straight away. We're not yeah. really paying much attention. Ooh, I do I do like them figures. I do think it's a hefty cost. Uh, eighty pounds from workshop for it. I do think that can be quite yeah. uh, quite pricey. And I want to talk about as well the law because this is that's the main guy. So oh right, the, yeah. That's, That's the, uh, yeah. the main guy who's leading the uh, the, 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 the Gallifers. Yeah. yeah, he's he's again he's pretty good. But one thing about the law, which not a lot of people are talking about, is these are Gallipox. Now you know the Gallifields that have kept the Imperium safe from the warp. Yeah, all these yeah, years. yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, it looks like Nurgle has found a way to damage Imperium shipping. Oh, that is massive game changer because now. Imperium ships are no longer now safe traveling through the warp. Right, okay. So, it's going to be a lot more inquisitors uh, roaming around with some vessels, I think. Yep. Right, so that's pretty much the unboxing. Whether or not it's worth it is up to you guys, to be honest. I do like the figures though, and I am going to do. Sorry about the pop and sugar rush everywhere. Uh, I am going to uh, actually do a video of me painting those, to be honest with you, for Ollie. Um, because he is going to give me those today, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, to put with the rest of my piles of stuff. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button for more. I'll probably have a review of this once we've actually managed to have a go, good go at the game. Um, I am on twitch.tv forward slash Rootstem Gaming. You can buy t shirts from Teespring. Just put Rootstem Gaming into the search bar. I, ask, I am going to start selling dice, and I hopefully we'll have a website running soon. Thanks very much, guys. We'll talk to you later.